Hey there, everybody. So in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the most common misconceptions that we've seen out there about DID, and that is that DID and schizophrenia are the same thing, or that they're somehow interchangeable. Well, the reality is they couldn't be more different. First of all, schizophrenia generally is seen in people from their late teens to early 20s, so onset is usually in young adulthood, whereas DID, the onset is between the ages of infancy and about nine years old. It's a childhood condition. Second of all, schizophrenia involves delusions, difficulty with concentrating and thinking, and hallucinations. Now, delusions are when a person has thoughts or feelings of things that are not accurate or based in fact. And hallucinations are when people see, hear, feel, taste, or otherwise experience things that are not really there or really happening. In DID, you have a single body with multiple identity states that control the behavior and overall function of the body and the actions taken by the body. You have amnesia of the traumatic events and in most cases the events surrounding other system members being out. And while you will have some memory difficulties, you never lose touch with reality, which is often seen in schizophrenia. Furthermore, DID is a dissociative disorder, whereas schizophrenia is more related to things like psychosis, and they're treated completely differently. DID is treated with long-term talk therapy, with EMDR, eye movement reprocessing and desensitization, to help deal with the triggers and difficulties of certain memories. And overall, it's a condition that takes quite a long time to manage, but it certainly can be managed with therapy alone. Schizophrenia, on the other hand, while not always, generally requires some sort of medical intervention, usually some form of antipsychotic to help with the hallucinations and the delusions, which can be very disruptive and sometimes even terrifying for the individual experiencing them. So overall, the two disorders have nothing in common. A person who's experiencing schizophrenia does not have altered identity states that are different individuals functioning in one body. They have an altered perception of reality due to the delusions and hallucinations that they're experiencing. And a lot of people say, well, don't people with DID hear voices? Sometimes, yes, but not in the way that people who have schizophrenia do. People with DID hear internal voices, as a general rule, of their system members speaking to them in their mind. Just like you hear your own voice when you're thinking your own thoughts as a non-multiple. So that's not at all related to a person with schizophrenia who hears voices if they have auditory hallucinations that sound like a separate outside person speaking to you and you are hearing their voice with your ears. It's a very, very different experience. And unfortunately, because of this misconception that they're related, a lot of times people who are really dealing with DID are often misdiagnosed as being schizophrenic. Usually because one of the first things that a lot of people with DID say if they go into therapy and they've been hearing the voices of their system mates is that I'm hearing voices. And the first thing that people think when they hear 
hearing voices is schizophrenia or some other sort of psychosis-based disorder. And the reality is because they're treated so differently, treating someone for schizophrenia who really has DID is going to just make things a lot worse. So when you see in movies like Secret Window and other kinds of media where they conflate the two, or have a very mistaken idea of how DID works, you need to realize that that's not accurate. People with schizophrenia often will suffer at times with these delusions and hallucinations, but at other times may be perfectly stable and lucid. But DID is fairly constant and consistent. You'll have times when your system mates will go dormant for a period of time, but there's always going to be some dissociation happening on some level or another, unless that person has been through extensive therapy. The two disorders could not be more unrelated if they tried. So I really hope that this helped get some more information out there. And if you guys would be interested in us covering more about this topic, let us know down in the comments. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Have a good day, everybody.